Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a sort of different video and today I'm going to be talking about the booktube things that I think we should all leave in 2017. So basically I got this video idea from Connor Franta. Actually he did a video just about things that we should just leave behind in 2017 such as certain trends or controversy or whatever. So today I'm going to be talking that but the booktube side of things. So I'll have his video linked down below. Obviously I love Connor so yeah. Actually, I love booktube but I'm not denying that there's drama out there and I know of it. I just tend not to talk about it because I hate drama. Like in my life. Like no leave. Today I'm just going to be talking about some things that I don't like about the booktube community. Just personal little things that I would rather have stay in 2017. You guys will get the hang of it. But no offense to anyone, obviously disclaimer, I could have done these things throughout the year. Chill man, it's all good, we all good, but I'm just saying I don't want these things carried over into 2018. So let's talk about it. So number one on my list, there's a total of 10. So number one on my list is the controversy around booktubers getting books published. That's stupid just saying you should be happy for booktube and for our community no matter if you make videos or you are a um a viewer of booktube pretty frequently but i think we should all be happy of booktube and their achievements despite if they have a big or small audience i think like just chill kind of sad to see the community react in that way i'm not gonna make a whole like i can literally talk about this for a whole video about booktubers getting books published but it's perfectly fine like just chill like despite having an audience these people work really really hard and that's all it is and i think we should all be happy for one another so yeah Next is a personal pet peeve for me but that's when you don't link the original video like of the per the, like of the book tag in your description box or you don't list the questions like if you're not gonna if you're not gonna link the tag video in the description well like you should that's what bothers me but I understand why some people won't list the just like the questions just because if there's like 30 questions then it's kind of a lot to listen to the description box but at least at least link the create like the creator's video in your description box because <laughs> it's so annoying when someone tags you on something and you go to it where's the video i gotta search it <laughs> that makes me so lazy but it's just more convenient and it's also for bigger booktubers like they should link the creator's video just to get more exposure for them as well like for the for any other smaller channels or any other channels that they don't talk about or whatever so i want to talk about people getting upset over sponsored videos this is a very controversial topic and paid promotions aren't i'm iffy when i see paid promotions and things like that but if you really trust the person you're watching then you should be fine you're good um i just think if a booktuber wants to do a sponsored video you should be cool with that especially because some people this is their job and they do need to make money and they do need to make extra money and there's also like some great opportunities that could happen if you take sponsorships and like if the sponsorship goes well and things like that so just think about it a bit differently um being paid for a good review which it drives me nuts don't do that if you're a booktuber big or small don't 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 and most people i know like everyone i know would not do it is um you know if an author is willing to send you money for a good positive review which i've been asked to do before and i've obviously turned them down peter from peter likes books says if you lose your integrity you can never get it back so you can't do that like why would you do that so that's just a whole other thing too don't do that this one annoys me the spam emails the ones that are like can you read my book or <laughs> like or the comments like spam comments that are like check out my channel which this will never stop spam will never stop but it's so annoying and i also hate getting the email that's like read my book no nothing else or they they're like read my book here's a copy here's an ebook copy i'm like where did you come from <laughs> or i also yeah this is just my own personal thing but with review copies and things like that i like it to be like a structured email and it's not just like read my book send me can i have your address to send you my book um i like to see like reviews links of the author's website or the goodreads page or things like that like you need to really do like you can't just say read my book is my point this might be just me but i don't know <laughs> if you guys like like 
a billion subscription box videos from one person every month this bothers me a little bit like i love so many booktubers but some of them just post way too many subscription box videos to the point where like i don't care because i've watched like 30 owl crate unboxings <laughs> and like i don't really care anymore but i think if you're gonna do subscription unboxings and you get more than one definitely like combine it because one you'll get more views that way if that's what you're looking for because subscription box videos don't usually get that many views which is not about the views but um you know it's sad when you look at your videos and one of your videos has way less views than the others so that could be because you're only doing a separate video or whatever i've never done one so i haven't had that experience before but i would say if you're getting more than one definitely combine them into a video i think it's going to benefit you a lot and i know piera does it from piera ford and i know like she does it and i find those super fun to watch just like multiple of them or like combine them in your book haul it goes along with views which again booktube is not about views if all of us were in this for the money no like we don't make anything <laughs> we don't make much like the average booktuber like 10k doesn't make as much money as you may think on booktube so we mostly do this obviously it's a hobby it's fun we get to talk about our reading we get to interact with people all around the world sometimes we get to the privilege to receive free books for honest reviews and things like that which does come with the package deal of being a booktuber but um along with that i want to talk about review videos specifically one for one book because you would think because technically it's a book review channel that if I were to do a review on The Nest, I would sit here and say, ha, blah, 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 blah about all, all this shit about The Nest. It'll get like at least 300, at least 300 or less views than my average video will. And if you've noticed, you can notice it on every, anyone's channel. Like you go to any booktuber and their individual book reviews have significantly less views than their average videos which makes me sad because sometimes I want to talk about a book for the whole time but then my view rate just drops <laughs> and I feel bad about it and so that happens and I just wish maybe people would watch review videos more often or just make review videos for specific books that I don't know you think would offer a certain kind of insight and things like that I definitely wouldn't want to watch like 30 review videos a month from one person but for certain books I definitely love watching in-depth reviews so I don't know I just want to leave like no one watching book review videos behind in 2017 okay this bothers me um when you don't give any booktuber shout outs like if you're a channel especially a channel that has a decent amount of subscribers whatever that is for you you should be shouting out other channels other than just your friends <laughs> Like, you should be discovering new channels and opening up, and I get people are busy, yada, 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 but I think it's great to shout out some other channels, and yeah, that's all I got. Ooh, I've noticed this with um, bigger booktuber channels, which of course I'm not trashing them, I love all the big booktubers so much, but my cat is sleeping on my keyboard. Um, I feel like I hate when I go through the comment section, you see all these people just like, I love you, you're the best, like, yes, they don't reply to them. Honey. And I get it, like comments can get overwhelming all like depending on how many comments you get, your subscriber count, all the number shit. It depends. Um, but then they only reply to their friends. Like, what are you doing? Like I get so angry when I see that. Like a popular booktuber will post a video and then they just comment back to their friends. I'm like, what about all these other people who like you can text your friends, what about all these other people who really enjoy your content and just want to talk with you or ask you a question or something like that like I feel bad and then my next one is when booktubers don't reply to their comments and this again depends on numbers like if you're at a point where it's not manageable for you or you have several channels you get a like a significant amount of comments or like sometimes people don't know how to respond to comments but I think if you have like under 5k or 10k or whatever you should be able to respond to all your comments it's so easy just get video like creator studio on your phone and when you read them just reply to them i usually keep up with my comments so much but sometimes i don't know what to say for them but i kind of just roll with it the only comments i don't answer is like ones that are personal and it's like um where did you get your money from where do you live <sighs> those are the only ones i don't answer but i think it's so so important to reply to your viewers and interact with your viewers i feel like really weird when a booktuber that kind of has like i don't know under 1k and i comment on a video of theirs and they just like don't respond i'm like oh okay just like for anyone it's like really <laughs> next one is people asking personal questions in the comments yeah i don't like that don't ask me if i have 
a eating disorder in my comment section don't ask me if i struggle with a mental illness in my comment section um just personal shit don't comment it <laughs> or it's fine if you comment it but don't expect me to answer that's the only thing um because i do portray a lot of my life online i guess but there is some things that have to be kept personal but i do love keeping it real with you guys but there's some things that have to be kept personal so that's my only thing with that so again another disclaimer um i love booktube so much or else i wouldn't be making booktube videos but but i love this community a lot so i of course i'm not trashing it or directing any hate towards one person or certain people or whatever and when i say big booktubers there's so many big booktubers so chill um it's just a, these are just some things that i like little pet peeves about booktuber things that i don't want to deal with or that i don't want to see but some of them i know are going to stay but it's just i just want to talk about it with you guys so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below i'll see you soon with a new video bye